Hey there, it is Christina DeFranco, a student therapist based out of Toronto, Canada. And today we are talking about something I think we can all relate to on some level, stress and anxiety. But we're specifically going to be looking at it through the lens of personality types. Did you know that our personality types, whether we're introverts, extroverts, or ambiverts, can really influence how we deal with and experience stress and anxiety. Today, we are going to explore how each personality type handles stress, as well as different tips you can use to manage it in a way that feels most aligned with who you are. Now, hold up, because if you do not yet know whether you're an introvert, extrovert, ambivert, or somewhere else on that spectrum, head over to my last video, and that is the best place to start to get a better understanding of your personality type, and then come back here to see how it relates to stress. All right, let's dive in and turn your stress into a strength. If you're an introvert, you probably know that you do best in low stimulus environments. However, when stress kicks in, the need for quiet is even more essential. Introverts often respond to stress by withdrawing. Yes, they need time to be alone, to process, and to recover. Most of the time, they prefer to work through their emotions on their own or with just one person that they truly trust. If an introvert is feeling alone, they'll often turn inward and take time internally to reflect and do quiet activities. And introverts actually have a bigger challenge because if they start to experience anxiety and overwhelm and they're not able to get that quiet and alone time that they need, it often exacerbates and leads to more and more stress. What's my top tip for introverts? Carve out downtime into your schedule. Even if it's just a few minutes, you need a daily ritual that allows you to decompress and that will significantly help you reduce stress in your life. All right, heading to the other end of the spectrum, let's talk about extroverts. Extroverts are energized by social interaction, so their reaction and solutions to stress are oftentimes a lot different. When extroverts are stressed, they often seek conversation and comfort from others. They may also need to shake off the stress. This can look like large forms of movement or exercise and a way to allow them to full body process all of the energy that they're experiencing. If you're an extrovert, you may already be familiar with forms of movement or socialization that helps you alleviate stress. However, there's a catch. Extroverts can sometimes ignore their stress by staying consistently busy. If this is not carefully managed or if you're not mindful of this, it can often lead to burnout in a really big way. My advice for extroverts, yes, lean into your movement and your support systems. They are there to help you, but also make sure you're taking time to check in with yourself and truly acknowledging how you're feeling. Are you suppressing or pushing down those feelings? Or are you allowing them to be present and giving yourself enough space to truly feel them? Even just a few minutes of mindfulness each day will allow you to feel the stress and experience it without avoidance. As a fellow ambivert, right in the middle of the spectrum, I saw parts of myself in both the introvert and extrovert explanations, but 
Now let's dive in to what ambiverts really do to cope with their stress. Depending on the situation, ambiverts are usually a little bit more flexible in how they go about managing and handling stress. This can look like seeking out support or movement sometimes, or other times acknowledging that they need to turn inwards, be by themselves, and have that alone time. While ambiverts have this unique ability to adapt and kind of find qualities of both introverts and extroverts, that can become a challenge when trying to decipher what they really need in that moment to support the stress and anxiety that they're experiencing. My advice for ambiverts, listen to yourself. Take time to reflect on what you need. Ask yourself a question like, can I sit with myself and process this? Or would I like to lean on a friend and have a conversation to help talk it through? Questions like this can help you find clarity on the support you're actually seeking in that present moment for that specific situation, because it can often differ. If you're looking at more techniques to help you handle this stress that you may be experiencing or overwhelm or anxiety, check out Christina's cart. Here I have my top recommendation for you to explore. This is a book called How to Relax by Thich Nhat Hanh. It is a super small, super quick and easy read. And it's more so like every page is its own technique, tip, or piece of advice. So sometimes when I'm struggling, I like to just flip open to a random page and read the advice tip or technique that is on that specific page. I truly love this book. It's one in my own personal collection and I can't recommend it enough. I hope this helps you understand more about the different personality types and how they relate to stress. Remember, stress, overwhelm, anxiety, they are all natural parts of life and having a better understanding of how to manage it based on who you are as a person can be so incredibly helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for me and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. I would love to know in the comment section what techniques and tools you use to manage your stress and are you an introvert, extrovert, or ambivert. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.